Hi guys, I'm Noah from Tata Sol and I have a new embroidery kit to show you today. It's the baby greenery embroidery kit and I want to show you what's inside and as always show you how to stitch it. So inside the package you will have a reusable kit bag as well as embroidery hoop, threads and needle, full stitch guide and illustrated basic stitches guide. And of course pre-printed linen fabric with design. I thought a lot about this new package and I would love to hear what is your favorite part. Mine is the kit bag because then I can keep everything together inside it while I'm working on the project and take it with me everywhere. Now let's stitch this design together. I will start with the baby and for that I'm splitting my thread from six strings to two strings. Then I will thread the needle and make a knot at the end so the thread will be secured. I will use back stitch, which is a simple stitch but because the baby drawing have lots of curves and details I want to do very small stitches with a thin thread. With back stitch you just take a step forward from the wrong side of the fabric to the right side of the fabric and then come down again from where the last stitch ended. If you are new to embroidery, you can click up here or on the link in the description box for a more detailed tutorial on backstitch. This is a beautiful handmade baby shower gift and for mamas to be, it's a great way to relax and connect with your baby. I already saw some beautiful baby announcements made with this kit, which made me so happy and you can see them on my Instagram, look for Tata Soul Studio. When you get to the foot, I recommend to embroider the foot first and then the toes. Now we have four different kinds of greenery to embroider. In the first one, we will start with the leaves using the thread as is, meaning with six strings. I will use satin stitch to fill the shape, but first I make a simple stitch from top to base and then do satin stitch over it. This will help create the tip of the leaf. Now add the stem with back stitch using a three strings thread. For this plant, we will stitch the leaves using the lazy daisy method. Bring your needle up and then back down close to the exit spot. But leave an inch of thread loose, this is important. Bring your needle up again through the top of the leaf, then go through the loop you created and pull the thread a bit to the side of the leaf top. Then secure the stitch by going back down through the other side of the loop. After you finish with the leaves, add back stitch with three strings thread. In this plant, I will use a special technique. First, I make a simple stitch from the top of the leaf to the center. Then I add stitches from each side at a time that cross each other. I also use it in the I'm Amazing embroidery pattern. You can watch that tutorial as well. The link is in the description box. Okay, last plant is the easiest one. I just added satin stitch vertical to the leaf instead of the usual horizontal stitching. As I mentioned before, I stitched all the leaves with six strings, which is how the thread in my kits arrive, and the stem with three strings. Thank you for watching and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel. If you have questions ask me in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!